Hello dear friends, welcome to agristudy.official. In today's class we shall deal with the another important topic that is auxin Avena curvature test. Before entering to the Avena curvature test, first we shall see the discovery of plant hormone that is auxin. Auxin discovery, it is the first discovered plant hormone. It was initially worked by a father and his son Charles Darwin and Francis Darwin on the canary grass. Darwin in 1880 work on this canary grass that is Phalaris canariensis. They observed bending of plant towards light which might be due to phototropism. They observed that when it when the plant is exposed from the blue light then it showed the bending towards the light and they said that it's due to the phototropism character of the plant and reported the sheathed protective organ called as coleoptile and they observed the where is the tip the tip is there you know that is that part they observe it as the coleoptile and that is a sheath protective cover to the shoot and they named it as a coleoptile see in this image here when the light is exposed it's bending towards the light blue light intact uh, seedling in the normal curvature when the, this tip this coleoptile tip is removed they observed no curvature there were no curvature and opaque cap on the tip if you keep opaque cap on the tip when there is no uh, not the substance which carry or which contains the coleoptile content then it's automatically there will be no curvature dear friends before entering to the subject i will explain you how this bending in the auxin will take place dear friends i will tell you what happens when the light is exposed the in the normal this part the auxin will be uniformly uh, distributed there but when the blue light enters this part there the auxin inactivation or the auxin breakdown will take place then this part will lose auxin if this part will lose auxin, then the accumulation of the auxin here will increase. As this increase and this will lose, the bending towards this side will take place. Did you get now? When the light is exposed, the inactivation of the auxin in this part and accumulation of the auxin in this part leads to the bending of light. This is the reason why the uh, coleoptile part or the part which contains auxin will bend towards light. Okay, this was the work done by Darwin and they call the region of the coleoptile. This is the coleoptile region and they call this coleoptile region as a growth zone which is responsible for the bending of light as a growth zone. And his results were published in a book The Power of Moments in Plants in 1881. Okay, the Darwin's work are finished now. There is another person, there is another scientist. Boyson Jensen in 1913 they worked on this uh, oats we say see here what they did is this is a normal plant and they exposed a blue light but they kept a mica sheet which does not allow the movement of auxin if it is accumulated here see there is no movement or the there is no increase in the auxin content in the coleoptile region Thus, the bending will not take place, it will be normal. I said, the inactivation of this and increase in the accumulation of auxin on this side will lead to the bending. But here, it can't accumulate on this side. This led to the non-bending of the light. If it is placed here, already there is inactivation, there is no need. And increase in accumulation of the auxin will take place here. So, it, it bends towards light. See, mica sheet is inserted on dark side. And mica sheet is inserted on light side. If it's inserted in a light side, then it will bend. If the tip is removed, or the gelatin between the tip and coleoptile stump and normal phototropic curvature, gelatin is a carrier here. There is no need uh, to worry about that because gelatin will transfer the auxin from this basal part to the coleoptile part. And growth stimulus passes through gelatin but not through water impermeable barriers such as mica. He just gave the report what his experiments were done. Not much conclusions. Okay, there is another scientist, Pal, in 1919. What he did is, he removed the tip, he placed here and he saw 
if there is a moment of the oxygen here then there will be bending so provided that the evidence he provided the evidence that they are in chemical in nature the thing that is passing that has a chemical nature and it is a chemical that is responsible that was given by Paul. Next comes the important person F.W. Bent in 1926 and this is called as Avena curvature test. First what he did, first he cut off the coleoptiles from many Avena plants that is oats from the many oat plants. He cut the coleoptile part and kept on a gelatin box or gelatin one slat is there on that he placed those uh, coleoptile parts he decapitated the coleoptiles from Avena he placed the several fleshly cut coleoptile tips on an agar block which was kept on a piece of inert material lower than this that is below this there is a inert material like glass above that agar block is there that is gelatin and he placed the coleoptiles on them and after few hours, he removed those coleoptiles and cut at the agar blocks to individual coleoptile parts. See if it is there. He cut at them into several parts. He discarded the tips and cut, uh, cut into smaller blocks. Then each gelatin block was placed on one side of coleoptile stump. On one side, he placed coleoptile bends in total darkness. Angle of curvature can be measured. See if it's here, the oxygen is accumulated here because the oxygen is moved from the coleoptile part to this gelatin that is agar block and these blocks contain the oxygen and when they are placed on this side, they will start bending because there is no accumulation or there is no oxygen here, right? So they will automatically bend when it is exposed to light. After several hours, that is uh, when you place the night up and uh, after several hours, he cut the agar blocks and two small cubes. What I just explained to you now, he placed those agar cubes accidentally on decapitated coleoptile stumps for two hours in the darkness. He kept them, that is, he kept on the on the plant for two hours in the dark. The effect of agar cube was similar to that of the tip as was shown by the curvatures of the coleoptile. It was similar to the normal conditions. Okay, see by that he draw he draw two graphs. One is that is the curvature graphs based on the number of coleoptile tips on gelatin you place, and another is based on the IAA content, the amount of IAA present in the gelatin blocks that is um, milligram per liter. See when it is increased with the number of coleoptile tips then automatically the degree will also increase and when the amount of present in it will also increase that is the accumulation of the IA oxygen will increase then also the curvature will increase as the accumulation increase they will bend more to more then the degree of the curvature will also increase same thing happens here these are bit same graphs but on different quantity Thank you friends, thanks for watching this video. This is a simple video on the Avena curvature test. I think it, will be, it was very helpful for you. Please make use of it. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram agristudy.official, Facebook agristudy, YouTube agriculturestudy.official. Thank you.